So today we're going to pour the uh, mandibular impression into stone. First of all, what I did is I used um, seven scoops of stone and one vial of water. I'm going to take the water and place it into the stone and kind of let the water incorporate into the stone slowly. I don't want to mix too much because the more you mix, the more bubbles that will get into the mix. So we're just going to slowly incorporate. When you finish mixing this, it should be a consistency like peanut butter. So if you guys have ever had peanut butter, this is nice and creamy peanut butter. Can you hear me okay? Yes. So I'm gonna add just a little bit on the bottom because it's kind of powdery down there. Okay, once the water has been incorporated into the powder, we're going to put it onto this machine called a vibrator. And it's going to get the air out for me, so if you want to come and take a look. We're just going to pop the bubbles as they come up. I'm really holding this rubber bowl down with pretty much a lot of force there and just holding my spatula into the mix. Okay, that's pretty good. We're ready to start. So I'm going to get my uh, mandibular tray. And just put a little bit of stone to begin with. We want that stone to go into the into all the crevices of the teeth, um, which are called pit and fissures. So we want the stone to go into those areas first. As you um, are doing this, there's going to be some bubbles that come up. So you want to take your spatula and. Um, Pop those bubbles. Okay, so I'm just going to place it down and just hold it down tight with a lot of force and just let all the bubbles come up. Okay, after this point, I can go a little bit faster, so I'm going to take a little bit more material and incorporate it into that bottom layer. Once we reach the top where we can't really see the pink anymore, then I'm done with this part. And I'm going to turn it off. Okay, and I'm going to get my tray. And I'm going to put the rest of this material on the tray. And I'm going to gather it together in a little pile. Even it out as much as you can. Okay, now we're going to take this and place it on top of that. Okay. And I'm going to hold it gently, not moving it around too much because we won't get bubbles underneath. And just incorporate that bottom layer into that top layer. Try not to get a lot of stuff in here because then you get like a tumor looking thing so you can get your spatula and kind of smooth it out in there. And that's where the tongue area of your mandibular jaw would be at. Okay, we're done. This is your top and this is your bottom. <laughs>